Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I am going to show you how to use the model builder. Model builder is a tool by which you can create geometry inside Nuke. As similar to other 3D programs like 3ds Max and Maya you create geometry. Similarly you can create 3D geometry in Nuke with the help of model builder. Although you will not have that much of flexibility here but it will work for almost any task you face in compositing. It is also used in alignment of a geometry in a 3D space if you got the camera tracking data. So hello dosto my name is Hars and let's get started. I am here in one of my comp from clean plate tutorial series. Here I used the model builder also. Make sure to watch the tutorial to know proper workflow of alignment of a card. You can find that tutorial from the i button. Now copy this read node over here and the camera. Let's see how the model builder works without the camera tracker or any footage. Hit tab and type model builder and hit enter. So this is the model builder and you can see the settings of this node in the properties tab. On left side there are some options available to create and edit geometry. Let's select model builder and press 1 to view. Once you are in the model builder it will open up the 3D environment. So similarly in 3D softwares you create plane, sphere, cube, cone, you can create all these shapes from this tool also. Go to the shape defaults, here you can create 5 default shapes from one click. So let's say if you want to create a plane, you can create it from this tab. You can also define the number of rows and column it will have. Let's create a card now. Click on this create button, now you can create a card by dragging the mouse. It has 4 rows and 4 column also. Similarly, you can create cone also. Just drag the mouse and release once finished. It will create cone. Similarly, cube also. And spare. Right now, you are seeing the wireframe render. To turn this into a solid color, you can come over here and click on this solid color. It will show our geometry as a solid color. And some other options are also available there. If you want a wireframe with solid color, you can click over here. So this is how you can create shape over here. Now if you want to update these shapes, you can also do here. Let's say I want to extrude these edges. For that, select the edit option from the left toolbar. Now click and hold the last option to see various options available. From here you can toggle from select nodes to face selection, vertex selection, edge and object selection. So click on this edge selection from here. Now you can select the edges you want to extrude. Select all the edges over here. Now you can also drag these selected edges. Now to extrude these edges, right click over here and select extrude option. Now just drag in the axis you want to extrude. Just like this. With Alt plus Shift you can deselect any edges. Now right click and click on extrude again to extrude in any direction. So that's how you can use the model builder to build a custom geometry. For practice you can also try building a house. Now let's see how to use this with the camera. Delete this model builder, hit tab and hit enter again to call that node. Now if you have the camera data, you can connect this cam input to the camera. Once attached with the camera, the viewer will automatically lock and see through the camera. Connect the source input to the footage. Now press 1 on the model builder to view it. As you can see, if I scroll through the timeline, our grid is properly staying with the footage. This topic is briefly covered in the clean plate tutorial series part 7. So if you want to learn camera tracking, then you must check that video. I will mention that video in the description and also on the i button. With the help of model builder, you can place geometry over here. And the model builder will align it in the 3D space. Let's go to the first frame. Let's say I want to place a box over this house. So what I can do is click and hold on the first option here. These are the same options that you have seen in the properties tab. So you can also access it from here. Let's select a cube and in the viewer just click and drag. Now here you can see vertices are highlighted in yellow color. So you can easily drag these vertices to align it properly. So let's align these. Drag the vertices to align on the corners. Now let's take this corner for reference purpose as we have to align geometry on the forward frames also. The back vertices you can align it over here. This one should be like this. After adjusting all the vertices, now go to the last frame. 
select all the vertices again and drag it to the same place to align geometry properly. Check on the middle frame also and adjust geometry where it is necessary. Now our cube is properly aligned with our scene. After this is done, now you can modify your geometry. As it is now placed in 3D space, we can adjust the geometry with the edit option. So select this edit mode again and click on this camera icon to unlock the camera. As we are in the vertex selection mode, select the vertices that you want to move. Hit again on the camera icon to see through the camera. You can move these vertices to the edge. Now if I unlock the camera again, here you can see the cube is aligned properly in 3D space. Again click on this. Now to export this geometry, go down to the export section and click on bake. This will give you the baked geometry now. That's how you can use the model builder to create an aligned geometry in 3D space. This was a quick tour to model builder. In the period of this lockdown, I am trying to create more good content for you guys. Thanks for your support. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you on Sunday.